नमस्ते पीपल से दैट लव इज ब्लाइंड बट इन रियालिटी ओनली लव हैज आईज अदर दैन लव एवरीथिंग इज ब्लाइंड वीनस इन एट्थ हाउस इज अ हाईली इंटेन्स प्लेसमेंट In fact, I will go a step further and say that a person having Venus in eighth house is indeed a person who understands the true meaning of love. He is a intense lover, or she is a intense lover. In this podcast, I have shared certain insights on Venus in eighth house. These insights may disturb you; you may not like it. but my sharing is not for likes and my sharing is not for shallow men and women although many keep trying to hurt me through their negative comments but i don't pay attention because my whole focus is on sharing certain beautiful insights for those who can understand my language so let's begin Venus in the 8th house is a very unique position for Venus. It is a strange world. Man and woman sleep together and when the honeymoon is over they remember the astrologer. Then they rush to the astrologer and ask, "Should we marry? Is it going to last for good?" is it going to bring happiness now the poor astrologer is wondering what kind of world he is living in honeymoon is already over and now the couple is doubting on whether to jump into this legal institution called marriage or not and because the questioner has asked about 8th house venus this relating has happened otherwise it would have not and i appeal to all my followers especially those who are taking keen interest in understanding astrology that times are changing the very meaning of relationships is changing the very definition of marriage is changing and so you all have to get your basics reevaluated before you reach to a certain observation marriage has become a showcase it is no more a symbol of love rather it has become a matter of social status yesterday a young man came he said i am young and i am looking for a girl to marry i said then what is the problem almost half of the population is of women so you should find one for yourself he said but i have one expectation i said what he looked at me and said she must be a virgin i asked him from which world have you come you are asking and expecting the impossible and my fellow listeners and followers this is the hard truth of today's world to expect something that is outdated is mere stupidity the word virgin is no more found in today's world neither the woman and nor the men they lose their virginity long before they get married and i am talking in general what is happening around and it is not a myth but the reality of today's age that you all must accept acceptance is the key 8th venus 12th venus these are people who are real lovers and let me tell you all 
small minds think about virginity liberal minds just don't care about such man-made obligations they are just happy to love to melt within each other love knows no boundaries it is simply happy to be but the pandits will not understand they will condemn the lovers the venus 12 the venus 8 people they will give long lectures on virginity i remember one such story and it is interesting once it happened a high priest was visiting a church and all the nuns were present the high priest was a very strict man about maintaining virginity it was a different story if he himself had remained a virgin but when all nuns came and the room was packed he stood up and said all you holy nuns if you all have maintained your virginity then please stand up nobody stood up except one nun with a small girl in her lap the high priest thanked god that at least one nun has remained virgin the high priest said to her so it is only you who is virgin the nun said no father it is not me but my small daughter who is just 1 years old i am standing for her virginity is nothing but the play of the mind religions are compelling people to stay virgin in reality virginity has nothing to do when it comes to love venus 8th venus 12th these people will understand what i am saying they are wild lovers they know no boundaries such men and women cannot live in a dominating society they need freedom absolute freedom love blossoms only in a free society generally people with venus in the 8th or 12th do well in a free society in a free world foreign western countries are good for such free love birds it is a wonderful placement for souls that have evolved with time having sex with the person you love is not a crime understand this and let me repeat again with emphasis on the word love when there is a deep intense love sex happens without any sexuality in it but when there is absolutely no love but just lust then sexuality comes in picture and it is ugly when you love you simply love then you must not ask silly questions like are you a virgin once a venus 12th young pan and he must be really silly because he had been through two passionate relationships and now he was in love with a new woman he asked her are you a virgin and the girl had venus 8th house she looked into the eyes of the man and asked back are you a virgin so you see people have crazy expectations when they themselves cannot meet those expectations life is a flow men meet women and many relationships happen out of love women meet men and the melting the merging happens out of love it is natural understand the fact women are not products and neither are men products have labels used unused you can evaluate products they are lifeless but never ever do the silly mistake of evaluating people the way you evaluate products people are not products people have emotions they love they fall in love they relate 
they melt in each other and that is perfectly human natural the idea of virginity is the idea of a fake society a hypocrite society love knows no virginity when you truly love a woman or a man you would never ask silly questions like are you a virgin when you love you simply love small minds intellectualism leads you to such silly questions of virginity and in the process creates many hurdles for you and you never are able to experience love in the true sense and so i appeal to you all that when you love let there be no question of age difference caste difference social status difference love is not for a coward a man who keeps raising doubts after doubts love is not for such a man love is for a courageous man a courageous heart that is willing to jump into the unknown courage is the love affair with the unknown only a man who has courage can love and venus 8th is one dimension that provides you with courage to walk on the dangerous path of love so venus 8th is not a disease or a setback and so when there is absolutely no disease no setback then why would the doctor prescribe any remedy but as mentioned in the very beginning of this answer it is a strange world money has to be earned and without fear how will you or anybody churn out money and so fear is instilled sixth house eighth house twelfth house how much of fear is instilled by the means of these three houses fear sells faster than faith the truth is simple venus 8th is a beautiful placement venus 12 is also a beautiful placement the great master osho rajneesh had venus in the 8th house and he openly shared the fact that i am not a celibate truthful men or women always say the facts on face because their heart is pure they don't live in fantasies and hypocrisies they understand life more deeply than the others venus 8th is also a great spiritual placement sexuality and spirituality goes hand in hand don't be surprised because the deeper you can go in sexuality the greater you can rise in spirituality of course the sexuality has to be out of true love and then there is no sex in it but just pure love pure melting in each other but this is a very deep subject don't just jump on my words self realize the meaning that lies beneath those words a certain intensity has to be there a certain depth when your act of sex is intense then the moment you start moving from being bhogi to becoming a yogi the same intensity the same depth helps you to rise to the higher altitudes and so every great yogi was once a great intense lover a passionate lover with deep intense sexuality tulsidas loved his wife a lot he was a passionate husband a deep lover and he had not yet started on his spiritual journey he was just like any other common man who loved his wife immensely but one day tulsidas had to drop his wife at her parents house Tulsidas could not stay alone for long. After just two nights, he went back to his wife and said, "I want you back. You have stayed for two nights with your parents. Now pack your bags and come back with me." 
Tulsidas wife was not a common soul she looked into the eyes of her husband and said Tulsi if this tremendous passion and love that you have for me if this same love and passion is directed towards god then imagine how greatly your life can be transformed those words yes those words went so deeply into the heart of tulsidas that he went back to his home and from that day he never looked back his deep passion and love was directed towards the higher purpose of life towards self realization and then history is witness to the wonderful spiritual transformation of tulsidas who went on to become the greatest saint that the world had ever known saint tulsidas i humbly prostrate before his holiness the hanuman chalisa written by saint tulsidas is the most sweetest holy scriptures and the most effective remedy on all the miseries of life neem karoli baba the baba to whom steve jobs of apple had come all the way from the us to meet such a great saint says every sentence of hanuman chalisa is a maha mantra in itself and so i insist that focus on simple things the most simple remedies have the greatest solutions that can work wonders in your life avatar meher baba for 20 years never spoke he had a secretary who would share his divine message if somebody would come to meet meher baba then baba would simply write blessings and that was all and yet many of his followers benefited through his written messages talking is required for a soul that is yet to evolve evolved souls rejoice in silence they get the message and through those messages they continue to evolve i would love to see you all evolve in this way through deep silence let there be more and more silence in your life but that silence has to be a blissful silence a meditative silence every placement is a good placement or becomes a good placement the moment you start turning inwards the moment you start meditating the moment you start asking yourself the most important question who am i and the day you all will find the answer you will never ever fear of any placements whatsoever then in the true sense the sky that is the consciousness is clear and you are ready to fly and experience for the very first time in your life the real taste of freedom venus in the 8th house is all for love and love blossoms only when there is absolutely no possessiveness but total freedom meditate every day जय श्री गणेश जय गुरु गणपत नमः
ओम गम गणपत नमः ओम गम गणपत नमः